5 seconds to go start unfortunately the agreement arrived at was not put into practice i was in favor of joint consultations between the engineers of both sides a thousand obstacles were created from pakistan's side they would not talk or allow us to go on perhaps they thought that by raising obstacles they would be able to arrest our progress they could not do that now suddenly we are told that the 1948 agreement was useless and that it was secured under duress as i told you it so happened that i was also present at those talks and can give personal testimony the present governor general of pakistan was also present there as one of the signatories i cannot understand how i or anybody else could coerce him into appending his signature it is very undignified for countries to argue like small lawyers big countries do big things with big minds whether it is peace or war it is not in my nature to indulge in a legal quibbling i gave up law 40 years back spokesman of pakistan said that they had denounced the 1948 agreement an agreement between two parties cannot be cancelled by unilateral action and so the dispute went on some people of the world bank came here from america and talked with us and with pakistan they were prepared to mediate so that our engineers and pakistani engineers might hold discussions with their help this was what we had been saying from the very beginning that our engineers and theirs should hold joint consultations because there was sufficient water for all so we accepted the world bank's proposal and said that we were ready if they could make them agree to joint consultations between the engineers they told us that as long as the talks went on we should not reduce the supply of water to pakistan from this side please remember that the 1948 agreement with pakistan which i just mentioned laid down that india had a right to reduce the supply of waters but this was to be done gradually so that pakistan might get time sufficient time was given and years passed we had thus a right to reduce the supply of water still we agreed to the world bank's suggestion not to reduce the supply as long as the talks went on it was not envisaged at that time that this arrangement was meant for all times we thought that the talks would go on for 5 or 6 months and would come to some conclusion we hoped that the result would be helpful so taking everything into consideration we accepted the suggestion for the duration of about 6 months those 6 months lengthened into a year and now to 2 and a half years it is a strange situation talks which are held with pakistan go on lengthening so much that there does not seem to be 
any end to them. I get sick of this. I want a decision this way or that. The World Bank people put forward a proposition of their own about three or four months ago. It is clear that they had no authority to force us. As mediators, they had merely a right to put forward a suggestion. It was for us to accept or reject it. They put forward a suggestion when they thought that our direct talks were not going to yield any result. Their scheme more or less provided for a division of the rivers of the Punjab. Pakistan was to take the waters of some rivers and we were to take the waters of some other rivers. That is, there was no doubt that we were to get all the waters of our site, but they laid a very great burden on us. We were asked to give financial aid to Pakistan so that she might construct new canals from other rivers to get more water. They did not clearly specify the amount, but they indicated a very large sum. It was a heavy burden on us, but we considered and consulted the Punjab government and thought that if the matter was being settled once for all and our welfare as well as the welfare of Pakistan lay in it, then we should accept the payment of the heavy price demanded from us. So, we wrote to the World Bank within a few days that we accepted the basic principle put forward by them and though it imposed a very heavy burden on us, we were prepared to pay this price so that the matter might be settled peacefully and we could go on with our work in our country in peace. We said Pakistan would also benefit thereby. We thus accepted the proposal within a few days, but Pakistan did not give any reply, though weeks and months passed. We were very perturbed. Our representatives are still sitting in Washington, New York, and other cities of America for this purpose. Stop.